So, Microsoft, what was this, like, about two months ago? Three months ago. Three. Yeah, I remember seeing it pop up in LTT. Microsoft is putting down the foot whenever it comes into unauthorized controllers. The company has begun banning any third-party Xbox controllers and accessories that aren't part of the Design for Xbox hardware partner program. So, Blade, would you like to describe what you use? I use what's called a SIM. It actually plugs into my controller and allows me to plug a mouse and keyboard, wireless mouse and keyboard into it. And then I can go to an app and it allows me to map all my keys out for a mouse and a keyboard. So, yeah, they say that's an enhancement. It doesn't do anything, but it allows me to map the keys out. And uh, I, don't see how the, I don't see how that's an enhancement. Yeah, and World of Tanks is still forgetting what you put down. <laughs> So even whenever you change your settings with mouse and keyboard, it's still forgetting that, hey, this is what I put down. It would be nice if you remembered that I like my enter key to be my zoom in key. But in fact, you reset the enter key to just completely shut down and kill my tank entirely. Self-destruct. Yeah, and some things it won't even let you do. It's just stupid. Yeah, like the sensitivity. You can't really work on sensitivity. Or use custom mouses now. Like, there's some mouses that just aren't supported. For instance, like, if I plugged in my Corsair, or I plugged in, like, an unauthorized keyboard, that's a generic standard keyboard that said, let, let's say it's made by, like, some random company, uh, there's a chance yeah, my, that you can get banned. Gaming mouse, I can't, it won't even allow me to program my gaming mouse. I have to use the mouse the way it is. I can't program any of the keys. I got a 16 function mouse that I can't use anything on it because it won't allow you to change anything for your mouse. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's what I was talking about. My Corsair mouse has yeah, got I I... 12 additional buttons. It's like if I plugged in, I can't program those buttons. They're all standardized or there's they're not attached to anything. Right, cuz you can't you can't map them to the to the keyboard. Anything that's a keyboard map won't go to the mouse. Which just plays so against you wanna, entirely. Yeah, so if I want to put my, you know, change my ammo on on my, you know, my mouse button, it won't let me do that. You have to go all the way to the keyboard, take a longer time to do it. Yep. You know, it would be, this is one thing that we've talked about before. I think um, I have a total of like three videos on my channel. This is now going to be the fourth talking about mouse and keyboard. But Xbox, for World of Tanks on console, they really need to crack down on mouse and keyboard to make it actually work. Because it doesn't save, it doesn't do anything, it just falls apart. Every yeah, single sometimes, time. Sometimes if you just, if you're, sometimes in between games it'll change. Yeah. So you play a game, you map it all out. You go in there, you play a game, you come out of that game, you go into the next game, and now all your mapping's gone. Reset. Yep. So, I mean, it, you can't even use it. It's, it's not even functional. And you can't use it the way it's mapped, because it's just, I don't, it just makes no sense. Yeah, well, the way that they have it mapped is set up in a similar way to PC, but everyone likes to change some things and make custom setups, so, I mean, it... It's just like, yeah, there's there's a couple things in there that just kind of suck. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just, just aggravating. Just really aggravating. Well, I mean, imagine going out and spending all that money to get it and then not be able to use it. I mean, that's that's where I stand on it. It's like, you spent the money on it. If that's what you want to use, you know... I'm completely fine with it. Because some people and, that are disabled, just, there's another company yeah. out there that makes custom controllers for disabled people. Um, a lot of their products actually have been banned, even though a veteran that, let's say, only has two fingers, this is the only controller that he can simply use. He's no longer allowed to use that controller. And it's the only way that he can play in the Xbox. <coughs> yeah, they do I need to rethink that. I can't remember the company that does it, but they make custom controllers for people that literally are, they don't even have a limb in that area. For instance, they're the company that made um, a streaming setup for a guy back in the day that was entirely designated 
with using air to play the game. His tongue and air. So he had to blow into something, and it would kind of put a pressure gauge down for a set amount of time. And then he would play. Um, I should have looked that up before I actually started recording. But yeah, that's just stupid. They need to fix it. I don't disagree. What does that mean? Oh, T34-100. I mean, if you're going to give me a mouse and keyboard setup, then let me use a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> yeah. I don't see. Like I said, I don't see how using something that allows me to map my keys and remembers. I mean, I can map it for several different games. Uh, Xbox should make their own. Their own that remembers what you programmed for the controller. <laughs> Because your setup literally takes your controller and uses all of your controller inputs and just converts it to mouse and keyboard, so then you pl right. you're basically playing with the controller. Right. Which I understand, controller. you know, the way that they look at it is, sure, that's an advantage in, like, Call of Duty or something. But there are people that legitimately use it for the right purpose, and World of Tanks is, honest to God, the right purpose. Yeah. Because it's it, you're not getting an advantage. Because this is not a game based upon reaction time. This is a game yeah, based yeah. upon movement and knowing where to go. Yeah, and I'm not, and I'm not adding anything. I'm only using the. I'm just mapping out the buttons that are on a controller. I'm not using anything more or less. Yeah. So ninety percent of the buttons on the on the keypad don't do anything at all. Yeah, like it, it's just. I, I just think it's a little bit dumb. In and all the only honesty. thing I don't like about it is I can't control my speed as easy as I can with a controller. I can control my speed moving forward and back and stuff. I can do that a lot easier. Because when I do that on a mouse and key or on a keypad, it's you're wide open forward, wide open back. There's no in between. You know, unless you reach up and you want to you know, change your engine speed. Well, if you do that, then you're going you're you're going forward as fast as you want. But when you go to back up, now you're going back at a quarter speed. <laughs> you know, that don't work. Yeah. So, in that aspect, I like. You know, I mean, it's it was really touchy moving backwards and forwards with. Like I said, it, you're wide open all the time. Yep. Full, full send. Yep. There, there's no stopping. But then again, we full send quite a bit, so I guess it helps out. Right. Yeah, some people abuse it, some people don't. In Blade's case, he's not one abusing it, so I do feel like Xbox should make it and then have it register on certain games if games are allowed or not. That that would be one way to solve the issue. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, if they can tell that I got a third party thing on there they can tell whether i'm using it on what games yeah and you know, i mean you're playing world of, course, of tanks with it of course i have to admit i played pretty much all first person shooters with that it did not give you an advantage blade i'll tell you that and and never gave me an advantage no it didn't because like i said i'm still only using the buttons that are available on a regular controller plus you're not using it for an aimbot you're not using it for anything else you're you're using it right. just to be able to play with mouse and keyboard because that's your preferred use. Yep. Matter of fact, the one that I have is so old you can't program it like you can the newer ones. You can't put the aim bot on it and stuff. It's strictly it's a box. You know. Yep. It doesn't have all the features that the newer ones have that allow you to download, like you said, aim bots and things like that. Recoil control, everything else, yeah. Yep. But I yeah, mine's so old, it doesn't have any of them functions. Yeah, the, the other ones, though, I don't know. It is happy to see that they're cracking down on it, but they should have I mean, at I can least thought about how some people might lot, actually use them. I understand that there's people out there that cheat. I yeah. get that. And they're trying to crack down on it. But they're hurting people that... Use it legitimately. Know, the couple bad actually, apples yeah. are the ones that ruined it for everybody. Right. And that's not fair to the people that actually you know, use it, you know, for the right reasons and the right person, pur uh, purpose. Anyway. That's a repair time if I ever saw one. 
That is not good. Um, I just fired my last shell. And now I'm dead. Yep, that was fun. <laughs> uh, anyways, what, what we're getting to with this is that um, the console devs, if they had the mapping done correctly, it would help out a little bit more. But it's not going to help him solve his problem with his uh, mouse with the additional buttons, even if they did the mapping. So, I guess the best thing to say is it would be nice to see if they actually fixed it. I mean, we've been asking for how many years? I've been asking for... Three? At least. Three years? The console devs to fix the mouse and keyboard? I even sent them a whole fucking thing about it. Yeah. Um, I, uh, they did fix one thing. Which was uh, no, I don't. I don't think they fixed it. The gun depression. I don't think that ever got fixed. I think that still gets limited. I guess I'm gonna have to plug in my mouse and keyboard and test it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave a couple, you know, helpful comments for Blade so he feels a little bit better about using a controller. <laughs> but that <laughs> right. That's about it. You guys have a great day.